video to address a question that I've had uh, asked quite a lot recently. It's um, concerns files created on the website and whether people will be able to use them with the uh, new version of Triptico. And the good news is that yes, you can use any files that you've created on the website with this new version. Um, and hopefully they'll be more flexible because if you created a file um, a list to use with a spinner, you'll now be able to open that list with Bingo, with Find 10, etc. Um, so I'll show you uh, how we'd go about accessing files created on the website um, and how you can open them and edit them and use them and etc. Okay, so click to continue in English. I'll sign into my account. So that's exactly the same username and password that I would use to sign into the website. You don't need a new subscription to use this new version. Um, your current username and password will work perfectly. Now, if I click on the activity database, this is where I will see all my saved files. So these are all the files that I've created using the new version. So you can see I've created quite a few files, 178 different files. I can also click to see the global saves. So these are files that other people have created. So if I was to type French as an example, we can see some files that other people have created um, in here. I can also click to view my favorite files. So these are files that I've set as favorite, the ones tagged French. So there we go. So there's all the different files that I've set as a favorite. I can view my deleted files. And if I deleted something by accident, could click on it and restore it and I can also view legacy save so this is the most important thing for this video because these are the save files that I created with the website and here they are accessible uh, via the app so um, let's think of one that we could open they're all marked as private at the moment um, so nobody can actually view these because these are still on the old database so if I wanted to set them as public, make them available for my students to use, I would have to resave them and set them as public, save them to the new database. So I'll show you how to do that as well. Um, let's have a look at this activity, Romeo and Juliet. So again, this is an activity that I created uh, on the website. I can click the, to view the data. Sometimes it's worth just double checking everything's uh, everything's converted across OK. Sometimes you might have an empty row or something like that. They just need to edit and delete. But that all looks OK. So I've got my true statements here, the quotes that are from Romeo and Juliet. And I put as a little follow-up, a little question for each one. And then I've got some false items here, so ones that are from Romeo and Juliet. So that looks fine. So I could click to launch it straight away. Let's say we would launch it with Find Them. So there it is, there's the activity, and the task would be to find the seven quotes from Romeo and Juliet. There we go. Now I created this on the website <clears throat> to use with Find Them, but I can also open it now with, let's say, Cardboard. So I can display the quotes on cards. So we'll just give them a quick shuffle. Let's just deal four cards. And so now when I flip them over, they'll be red if it's a false statement or green if it's a true. So this one should go, should be green and we should see the little um, follow-up question. This one will be red because it's from Richard III. So there we go. Um, so hopefully that's an advantage that files that you created with a website for um, Find Them, for example, or for Bingo can now be opened with any of the resources. <coughs> now, as I said, that's private at the moment because it's still in the old database. It hasn't got a triptych code that you can share with anybody. So if we wanted to save it to the new database, I would click to edit it. And then again, I can just check everything's okay. I can make any changes that I want to make. Um, but if I'm happy with it, I just click save. Let's call it, I'll call it Romeo and Juliet from website. I give it some tags if I wanted. It's already brought across the, um, the tags that I used in the uh, on the website, I actually delete that one find 10 because it's it's not just used for find 10, I can use it for lots of different things. I'll set it as public and save the file. I suppose I could add some tags, literature, Shakespeare, whoops, Shakespeare, etc., and save the file. And there we go, that's now saved to the new database. So now when I go back, and look in my saves, 
you can see I've got this file added here, Romeo and Juliet from the website. And now it has got a Tripti code, so if you wanted to test it, you could type 3741 into the, the sort of homepage and you'd be able to open this activity. Students would be able to do the same. Again, I can set it as private if I wanted to. I'd just flick that switch if I didn't want my students or anybody else to be able to access it, but I'll keep it public so you can have a little look at it if you want to. 3741, we'll go back to the homepage, type it in, 3741. You see that file's now been added to the to the database. So I hope that's helpful. Hope that shows you how easy it is to um, access um, files that you created with the website in this new version. Again, some things sort of convert slightly better than others. There's so many different save formats that I've used over the years, um, especially for uh, some of the sort of more established resources where I may have had five or six different save formats as I've updated them and changed them, etc. So it's worth just clicking to check that all the data is okay. You might just need to, to tweak a few things. Sometimes the images may be a little bit, um, uh, you know, may not be a perfect size, but hopefully with this new version, now it's so easy just to drag and drop an image or copy an image and paste it in, you'll be able to, to make these changes. And again, with the new version, we've just got the one standard image size so you know once you get the the image looking right um, then it'll look right in every single resource with the old version there were different sized images for different resources um, whereas now it's all standardized so I uh, hope that's helpful if anyone's got any um, questions please get in touch send me an email david at triptycoplus.com um, or as I'll be uploading this to YouTube you can add a comment underneath the video if you've got any uh, questions or feedback but I hope that's helpful and I hope that sets a few people's minds at ease um, that activities that you create on the website won't be lost uh, with the conversion to the new website. In fact, they'll be enhanced in that you'll be able to share them with students. You'll be able to open them with different activities um, and so on. So I hope that's helpful. Thanks very much. Bye.